What's going on my fellow Jedi and Padawans? Welcome back to another Jedi Gaming video. Thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel and if you guys are new, welcome, welcome, hello, hello everybody. I really appreciate you guys coming back and always checking out the videos, showing some love as always. It does mean so, so much to me. And if you wanna continue the support, please like and share the video around. It helps me out and it helps out our fellow guardians as well. And if it does feel right, please slap that subscribe subscribe button like I said helps the channel out helps me out so so much so thank you guys thank you guys and let's get into all these secret secret clues in the presage mission now I want to start out by saying there are three sets of clues so you will have to do this mission three different times if you have not got all the clues yet because you have to complete all the clues from the first set to unlock the clues for the second set and so on so, there's five clues in the first set, six clues in the second set, and then four in the final set. And if you do it with a fire team, one person can grab it, and then everybody on the fire team gets it as well. Let's get into the first set right here, which has five clues. The first one, as you can see, is when you first load into the mission and do the little jumping puzzle, and you find the first spore that you have to shoot to go through the wall. When you go right through that first immediate wall, you see this cabal hanging upside down. Press square on him, and that is your first clue. Now, you move a little bit farther into the glycon, and when you first jump down by the electric wall right here, take an immediate left, and on the ground there is one of these broken items that the scorn captains use. So that is your second secret clue of the first set. Moving on to clue three. It is after you beat the room with the abominations that spawn, as you can see right here, where you can jump out into space and it has the open walls on the left. The black ship that's in the corner right here, this is the third clue for the first set. Moving on to the fourth clue. The fourth clue is in the room where you have to shoot the fuse to get through the electric wall that's up top. So as you can see right here, I shoot the fuse and jump up through the electric wall that turns off and immediately turn left into this little hallway. And these canisters that are lighting up on the ground is your fourth clue. Moving on to the fifth and final clue for the first set. It is actually after you beat the boss, there's a little hidden room that you have to turn around to on your way to collecting the gun from the guardian that's hanging there. So as you can see, when you move through the door on the left hand side of the room to go to that fallen guardian, you fall down that first little hole that leads you towards that empty throne room. And when you jump down this hole and turn around, there is a little, little platform that you can sneak behind. And there is a cabal head that you search for your fifth and final clue of set one. Moving on to set two. The first one in set two is right through that first door again that you have to shoot those first set of spores and run past the cabal which we collected last time and jump up into that first vent that leads you in deeper into the glycon. This little council that's orange on the left right here, you press square on that and collect your first clue of the second set. Now again, moving on deeper into the glycon, the second one is also on the left side through the walls as you can see here you get your egregores link jump across the gap move past the one that you collected from last week continue on where you have to kill the scorn underneath here and on top of this little platform up here once you kill these two scorn up here you can take a left right before you jump across the chasm again and it's a turret that's been exploded right here so don't jump across yet grab this turret and the second clue of the second set is found. Now, next we move back after the room with the abomination. Keep on going, jump around the side of the spaceship like you did before, but this time instead of going up into the next room, you go under this spaceship right here and on the ground you grab this part. This is your third clue of the second set. Moving on to the next clue of the second set, right after that hangar, you come into this room after you drop down and there is the center council right here with a scorn captain chieftain right here on it. 
This is your fourth clue for the second set. Number five is in the little jumping puzzle that's right before the boss room. You have to get across those two little jumps and across the two turning platforms. And there will be behind a box, there is a little ghost slash card that you have to collect. So once you jump across these chasms and kill the scorn that's up to the left, you can collect the little ghost as your fifth clue for the second set. Only one more to go for this one, and it is after the final boss. Once you kill him and jump down into this throne room to collect your gun from the fallen guardian, instead of going to him, drop straight down and underneath this bridge right here, there is a bunch of chalices and gold reminding us of the season of opulence and callus. Grab that, and that is your sixth and final clue from the second set. All right, moving on to the first clue of the third set. Now, if you've done everything and you finish this third set, this will be your third triumph for finding all of these clues. And this triumph right here rewards you a ghost and is also part of your chosen seal for the season. So it is super important to get. All right, so the first clue is a dead exo that is right here by the council on the right side of the room that you kill all the scorn. When you first drop into the glycon where those two electric walls are, you go to the right and you'll see this dead exo right here on the platform right by this council. Collect him and he is your first clue of the third set. Moving on to clue two. Two. It is again by the abomination. There is actually two out here after the abomination room. The first one is you jump around the side, but instead of going into that second hangar, you jump up to this little receiver antenna here. Press square, and that is your second clue for the third set. And from this one, it's just straight into that hangar like we did before. But instead of going under the ship, we go to the left of it. And there is a yellow data pad that is up on this ledge right here. You can see it glowing. You grab this and this is your third clue of the fourth set. And finally, the last clue, you don't even have to kill the boss this time for the final clue. It's in the room where you rally the flag for the boss. As you go through the back right corner right here, there's a little banner or flag on the ground collect that and as you can see this is your fourth and final clue for the third set you get the all the scattered pieces triumph done which that triumph right there is the one that rewards you the chosen seal or is one of the triumphs for the chosen seal and it rewards you the ghost right here i'm showing the different triumphs here is the first one all the scattered pieces like i said you get the shell and you get the four pieces. The other two are called Figments of Answer and another link in the chain. So you will get all three of those triumphs done if you collect all 15 of these pieces right here. And as you can see, I completed my chosen seal by finding all the scattered pieces, which was this last, last one to find all four and complete the persage. So hopefully this helped you guys out. Finish your seal, get the triumphs, Get the ghosts, get everything you need to finish out this season strong. I really appreciate it again, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.